Poor visibility is being blamed for yesterday's train crash west of Melbourne. Two people were killed in the level crossing tragedy. The Melbourne-bound Sprinter train slammed into a semi-trailer just after 4pm, the impact spreading debris more than 80 metres. Two of the injured, including the train driver, were airlifted to Melbourne. 35 others were ferried to nearby Ballarat Base Hospital, but most were released within hours of the crash. I remember the lights going out, I remember being thrown forward and bracing myself against the next chair. And at this point the train was skidding fairly wildly. I slid under the front seat and the wheels of the truck that had hit ended up next to me outside the window and the train was tilted over so I had a look at the train out the window at the ground level. The truck was carrying an industrial press and bluestone slab. Their combined weight believed to be in excess of 12 tonnes. It's understood the rock slammed into the side of the train, killing a 68-year-old passenger. Well, due to the, the amount of passengers and the amount of witnesses, the investigation is going to be lengthy and complex. The 42-year-old support train driver also died. The truck driver walked away with minor injuries. Since the track reopened last July, locals say the intersection's been an accident waiting to happen. Unsuitable access and poor visibility, two of several issues they flag with authorities. We've got all those trees down there now that are blocking, blocking, you know, your vision. Luke Waters, 10 News.